Welcome to the George's FTTV YouTube channel. Today we have a video on my trades and the team sheets, which drop in three or four minutes, about four minutes, hopefully. So we'll go over that. We'll go over my trades first, but um, before I start, so I'm wearing sunglasses because not for a fashion statement or try to look like a SK, anything like that. No, uh, I drove back from region of Victoria today. I've been there for work and I couldn't do that. That's why I couldn't do the podcast properly. And I dropped out three times and I've got my sunnies and I was staring to the sun on the way home for yeah, five and a half hours and my eyes hurt and I can barely read at the moment. So these are helping me read and I like looking at brightness is a little bit, uh, I don't feel great looking at brightness to be honest. So I'm wearing sunnies in front of my computer. So here we are and we'll move on from there. So sorry if I look like a whatever like a weirdo but it is what it is so are my trades this week they are zoom in one sarong in dempsey in billings in martin out clark out fisher out so sarong a bit reactionary of one of one game but he, we've never seen this ceiling from him before and yeah all the talk in frio was he was like the best midfielder at training so yeah, I watched his highlights, very impressed. Sort of like left the contest very quickly. And even like when he was getting handballs out, he was trying to get it back as well. So it uh, looked really good. Didn't only saw highlights, so I didn't actually watch the game, but yeah, a bit aggressive. Could be the wrong move, I don't know. But North this week, be care I think we've got to be careful for Liam Shields if they want to tag him, if they like, they almost have to do something about him, but can they actually do it? Liam Shields is 33 now, so I don't know how that will work. And if he takes a CBA role when they've got to give it to the kids. Dempsey, I like. Tom Berry's pretty good too. I think they're both fine picks. Uh, I think I need to field someone in round three because I've got quite a few out. So I'm hoping Dempsey will actually get me points against Hawthorne that round. Whereas I've got Cadman, I've got Flanders, I've got Tom Green. Um, maybe someone else I don't remember. No, I can't remember. But anyway, Dempsey I liked and I started him and fielded him in, in fantasy actually, which is a bit lucky, but uh, I liked him. So he's in. Jack Billings, I like. I think he's because he's done 85s in the past. There's a chance we might get more cash gen from a rookie just because it's a lower floor, a uh, lower base to make money off. But I think he, because he's done 85s in the past, even 90s he's pushed. Uh, I think I want him on field for maybe even after the buy. Um, yeah, because after the buy, it'll be interesting how people's teams shape up because some people might have an extra rookie on the field and that's when they'll start copying it potentially. But. Uh, I'd like to keep Billings for as long as possible until we get some forwards that I have a bit more confidence in. So I actually, yeah, I wanted to start him, so he's in. I'll get the team sheets as they drop in a minute. Uh, Nick Martin and Fisher, I think because they're speculative, and I think there were warning signs in the preseason, even last year with Fisher, wasn't impressed with him at all, but I figured North roll, North half back, just farm points. But with Fisher... <laughs> Like he could hold and he could bounce back this week, no doubt, because he was up and down last year. I think it'll be much be better at Marvel. But I look at Sheasel, I look at Scott, McKercher, Fisher. I think Fisher will be the last one to take kick-ins out of those guys. So it's going to be hard to push 85-90 when you're sharing that much and you're... Yeah, the, the the defense is a little bit unbalanced to me. I don't know. Like so If something has to give, maybe it's Fisher. Plus significant injury risk. I did start him, so it's a bit of a backflip. But um, yeah, I think like I need to free up money somewhere, and I like Billings from the start. So that is that. Jai Clark, you could definitely give another week, but I'm just trying to free up my options for next week because I don't have McKercher still, and he will have to come in next week as well as Ambrosio. It's just whether I need to make a third trade or not. So I'm just leaving that third trade. Um, open for next week unless like yeah something else goes wrong but i'm bringing them two in next week most likely and then nick martin i just think the warning signs were there in the preseason with his kicking um it was happening at training and stuff he could bounce back it's very aggressive trades but i feel comfortable with you know sarong and billings who have you know good past data to go off uh for their output and yeah sarong's done 110 billings done 85 year on year and sarong's even better so that's my logic there. I think Jai Clark, like the tog for him is quite poor. So that is that. Uh, my VC is Sarong into 
probably Bont. Yeah, maybe Tom Green, but they have sent Gimby to him. I'm just hoping we can lock away Sarong. Maybe we'll go Dacos tonight if Windhager is named. Because I know Brad Crouch has dropped. Could they put Windhager in the midfield? All right, let's get to the team. So yeah, that's how we're lining up this week. Uh, next week, we're going to split wines. I'll explain that in... Even if wines does well, I'll explain that in round two video. More, um, basically, he's not making any money, whereas I can get, you know, get within a few points of his output for someone 200k cheaper. So um, Saints, we already know this. Uh, Crouch dropped. Dean dropped. I don't know who's sub yet, do we? If it's Finn or not. So we'll see. All right. I'm going to refresh again because sometimes it doesn't load all the teams. So hopefully it's done now, two minutes in. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Friday, the Crows. Uh, Borlay's out, Shoal Gollant out, Tanner's injured. Okay, so that helps Jai Clark. So, yeah, probably could hold him. And who's sub here? Um, it could be Mana getting a full game. Yeah, I think Mana we need to watch very carefully tomorrow. If he's not sub, he can score as well as any rookie that we have. Clearly with his VFL numbers, 110, playing mid and forward, which is insane. So, yeah, although it is VFL, so be careful for him. Clark named on ball. I feel like I should give him another week. Uh, I just don't know what else to trade out, to be honest. So, yeah, I think the TOG and the sub risk is pretty alarming, but he's only cheap and you could, he could be a slow burn. You know, I could be throwing away someone that makes 150k in, in eight weeks. So, pretty dangerous game to trade him, I think. I think you, I think hold if you can, but if you've like seen much better opportunity, then I think that's fine. A bit on the fence, boosting him up to Dempsey, to be honest. Not sure. Um, Crows, Keen Walker, Edward McHenry. Interesting. I've never seen him named that. Used to always be Ned, I think. So who's sub here? Bear on the bench doesn't look great, does it? Uh, Burgess is still playing. That's fine. I think McHenry or maybe... I think they like Murphy, though. Maybe McHenry sub. Surely not Berry. That would be painful. Hmm. I don't think so. Maybe that's Cope. But he played OK, but... Oh, excellent. Liam Shields out. That's good for Sarong, I guess. Uh, North and Frio. Let's see what's happening here. Erasmus admitted. Cox injured. Warner. McDonald in. Sorry, out. Tabner. Draper is a key defender rookie. Walker and O'Meara. Go to injured, so... Fish on the bench. Yeah, like Sheasel, Scott. Could they move McKercher up the ground? I feel like they need to do something with one of McKercher or Fisher. If they want to keep Sheasel and Scott down back. Because I know Sheasel probably a midfielder long term, but like he's just insane and he can he really settles that back line. So I yeah. I think they keep him there for now. Uh, what else do we notice here? Not much. I'm out on Fisher. Like, this, because the interchange doesn't mean much, but um, I just don't see it with, like, he's third or fourth, I think. I think she's the one Scott are the top two, and then it's McKercher or, or Fisher as the third or fourth. So I'm out on that. And, yeah, Hughes, Pierce, Draper. So that's good for Luke Ryan. Hayden Young named defense. I think he's just stuffing around and playing games. Longmuir, I think he'll play midfield. Gee, they're freeing up Ryan up, and maybe Aisha Clark plays. One of them has to play lockdown, you would think. I think, I don't know. Sharp on the wing. I didn't see Sharp play, but apparently he was good. Uh, he was quite good a few years ago, but I didn't love his preseason game. Brody emergency, that's, yeah. Okay, we'll move on. Uh, Hawthorne versus Melbourne. Nothing really to see here. Petty in. We're Woden out. Um, Hall extended bench. I mean, I th think... Petty's a forward. There's a forward for a forward. But I think they'll play three tolls. Um, who's sub? Maybe Windsor? 
Mighty Hoard's like, that would not be a sub, surely not. A third defender as a sub, that sounds weird. I think Windsor can come in, provide some run. Windsor was good. He'd be stiff to be sub though, but who knows? Could be like someone else, like a Chandler, but it looks like Windsor if I had to guess. Mm, we'll see. Hawthorne and Brosu named back, but he played more up the ground, I think. Amon, you know, just playing games here. Yeah. I've got Amon in fantasy. I wish I didn't pick him. There's too many players that can distribute off halfback at the moment. It's annoying. Uh, not, not much else to say. Not much else to see. I think people want to jump off Newcomb. I'm okay with that. He could come good. Oh, Billings named on bowl. I think that's probably cap. So, yeah, they play their games with team sheets. So, um, yeah, if you need to free up money, I think getting rid of Newcomb's fine. There's just too many good mids out there, but you probably bounce back. All right, Swans versus Essendon. Corey Warner in. Is he rookie price? No. Oh, yes, he is. I can't read, even with Sonny's on. Oh, it's a rookie for us. I swear, I thought he played last year, but maybe I'm imagining things. See, my eyes are definitely stuffed. Um, well, that's one to watch, I guess. In for Fox. Fox's utility, but he's injured, so he could be sub. Heaney named on bowl. There's an interview with Heaney on Channel 7 last night on Talking Footy. Basically, basically said, like, learnt nothing from it. I'll play wherever horse needs me. Uh, and that means I think he'll play midfield now. And then when the players come back, it'll be maybe a split role. But I think they want him midfield because you can't take him out of there, really, the, the way he's playing. And yeah, Laverde Draper, Parrish, Hind in. Reed out injured 6-8, to eight, apparently. Oh, something like that. 4-6 to six or 6-8, six to eight, one of the two. Redmond suspended, uh, Guelphy and Jones. This parish is in. Means that you probably wouldn't want to jump on Perkins despite his good game with your yeah, parish um, merit. Satterfield, probably the top three. So I think, yeah, yeah, a bit stiff to take Perkins out because he was good. Um, not much else to see. Martin still named halfback. I think he can hold if you want. I'm just trigger happy and want so wrong. I'm um, suspended. So these are Sunday teams. So these are kind of hard to read. Like these guys are actually playing? Probably not. And then I think they said Walter Tate to debut. Maybe that's with Roses out. Who's this? One oh two rookie. Oh, must be in the rookie draft. I don't know, don't know anything about him, but maybe we can keep an eye on him. You have a buy as well. Closey, Closey, something like that. Uh, where's he named? Bench might be um, it's just extended bench. Yeah, so nothing really to see here. If you have Libba, you'd be hoping for a bounce back, and I think Bont had a poor fantasy score, so hopefully he bounces back there. If you've got him. And we want Sanders is there. Like I'm fielding Sanders this week. Actually, I think I'm looping in with, I'm looping in with Roberts. Yeah, Swans play first. Do they play? No, this is Sunday. So I'll be doing that. Uh, what else do we have? Not much else. Barry. I think Barry should be safe um, on field, especially in a bye week. But yeah, pushing up the ground a bit. So I think he had six touches in week one, but in round zero, but. A few more last week. So I think he's a good... I mean, he's a very solid in. He's got 100 in his second game. So he'll make bank. And should, and I think two years ago, he did 90 in the VFL. And last year, he did 70-something. So I don't know if... He might have played midfield and then transferred to forward last year. I'm not sure. Just, you know, a 20-point drop-off would suggest something like that. All right. Richmond versus Ports. Uh, geez... That's not good for their key defenders. And Press is out for a long time. Unfortunate for him. Um, yeah, I'm not going to make any assumptions if any of these guys are playing. Um, is Sonsi? I thought Sonsi was available this week. Maybe it's next week or maybe they just didn't pick him. So he's 150k rookie for us in the forward line, but he was suspended. For something he did in the VFL, I think. 
Uh, Jordan's renamed. I guess it's extended. So I guess here there's nothing really... Like there's nothing to read into here, I think, for port. Who comes in for McEntee? Uh, McEntee? Mm, not sure. Maybe Georgiades. I don't, I don't know if he's best 22. Or maybe just they play Francis Evans. That would probably make more sense. So that's that. Uh, Wines, Meads named. I'm probably going to trade him. I know he can come good, but I don't really want to risk him having 40% CBAs on my field with that much money tied up into him. But hopefully this game's a bit more contested or MCG. Hmm. We'll see. Uh, last game. I feel like we've missed a game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Some games have not loaded. I think. Can I not count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's a buy. My bad. Carlton and Brisbane. Uh, nothing here. And then here, the Canes out for personal reasons. Pretty non-eventful teams, I think. Um, I don't think there's anything to discuss here. Barnett, if you've got him as a... I think Todd was going to debut. I think they said that. Um, nothing to see here at all. And then to the Giants side of things. Where's Cadman? You like they have to play Cadman. Like, you just can't drop him. I think uh, it's O'Halloran, Thomas, Kimmelberg, Cadman, Angwin, no, Peatling, no, McMullen, no, Keith, no, no. So I think that'll be the four. I don't know who will be sub. So I think the main one for me here, I think the good thing is no, uh, no shields if you like Sarong. And then... Sean Manor, if he plays, I think they give him a full game. Let's have another look quickly. We'll find out. So this is one where we need to be on our toes for. Even um, like team sheets, like people jumped on a Jared Lyons, people jumped on Marty Hoare and reacted quickly to that. So yeah, like I, I would be shocked if they play O'Sheen Mullen ahead of Manor. So I, I would guess Mullen's sub and they play Manor in a full game. And Manor's job basically is to play out of his skin so they can't drop him to sub in the in the short term. So I don't really have an art like if I'm getting McCurcher and Dempsey, I guess this is why I'm getting rid of Clark, because there's just too many other good players. And yeah, Dempsey's got this 96. It's in his average for one one game, but he just looks so good and looked good in the VFL. Um sorry. Look good in the practice games too. So if Mana comes in, like I don't have a, I don't have anyone to get out for. I don't, maybe I choose between um, Kircher and Mana. I don't know. And then uh, giving up McKercher, I'll just die watching him rack it up uncon uncontested. Uh, that's going to be a horrific antipod. So, and we need to get Mass. That's why, like, if I split wines into someone, then get Reed to Massimo because there's no one making money in this slot. And Massimo with a 120 is going to make a lot of money off the bat and probably fieldable. So we'll get another look at Mass. Anyway, that's my own team. But yeah, I think the main takeout is like maybe potentially plan for Sean Manor after, like not now, but after this game. And I dare say if you have him in fantasy, um, uh, no one cares about fantasy in my channel, I don't think. Maybe some people do. Oh, it's logged me out. Oh, it's because I'm on a different browser with less ads. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's, yeah, Field Sean Manor in fantasy if you've got him, I think. So that's what I'll be doing. But anyway, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. And yeah, sorry about the sunnies, but we'll see you in the next one.